Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Career Mode here with Wakefield where we begin in the championship last season in which we started off six games in. We have two wins, two draws, two losses, 10 goals for 11 against. Bit off to a little bit of a bumpy start. However, at the end of last episode, y'all did get to see this absolute gem of a Youth Academy player. Now, I am convinced this is glitched. Because the only mods I have for Youth Academy is 14 through 17 years old and promotable at 15. It's about the only thing I've touched on here. So this should not be happening. A 14 and a half million player should not be joining this squad straight off the rip. However, he is here. We are going to go ahead and use him. I am transitioning him into a left winger because that is just where he better fits at. Especially with the crossing, free kick accuracy, long passing the shot he's a better left winger for sure and he might even battle layered off of the bench pretty early and talking about the bench and finally talking about the board objectives for this season starman 50 gold contributions with the main man hoffman i said i told you i wanted to do a forfeit kind of objective with hoffman here it is. We have to score or we have to get 50 goal contributions with Hoffman. We will sell the player if we fail it at the beginning of next season. And currently, he's not off to a great start. Seven games in, he only has two goal contributions, a goal and assist each. On the other hand, Keith Fagan, he comes back. We're going to have 15 goal contributions with him. And within the three games in the championship he's played, he has six goals, which is absolutely insane. He's averaging two goals per game at the moment. So honestly, I might have to bump that up to 20 to 25 pretty early on here. We'll see if he can continue that great form. Wake Fortress, we don't want to lose over half of our league home games, which is technically 23, but obviously over half is 24. So as long as we win or draw at least 24, we are perfectly fine. Spread the wealth. We have, I want to focus on the bench more. When I play these games, I normally, when I really kind of play FIFA, I normally don't focus on the bench. I really don't make subs, especially with somebody like Hoffman. I want to have 10 players come off the bench that either score or assist. And it can only be with me. It can't be through like a simulation or something. So I'm going to have to try and keep track of that. I am going to try and use this bench more. That's why I boosted the bench a little bit in the offseason here. And goals galore. We want to score 100 goals in the season as a total squad. Now last season in our championship season winning League One, we went ahead and scored 129 goals which is absolutely insane now the other seasons we scored 89 80 and then that's pretty much yeah that's it because it's only a three seasons so yeah that's about that and then the final one the cup breakthrough we want to reach the quarter final of the fa cup we want to try and start make a deeper cup run now we did get bottled by tottenham last season which was kind of expected but we are going to look to put up a more challenge against premier league side teams here and hopefully try and make a deeper FA Cup run than last season. And then really, and with that being said, let's get into the actual episode now. We are going to kick it off here against reading away from home. No, we are not. Your next opponent doesn't have enough players to play the next match. They are forfeiting, and I get a 3-0 win. Fantastic. I'll take, I'll take any easy win I can get. I've never seen that in FIFA 23. That used to happen all the time in 22 in preseason. Not in National League. We now up to 7th, which is kind of surprising after that 3-0 win. And our goal difference gets 3 goals better. I guess we'll play this game against Swansea as our first game of the episode here. Focus on the bench. Focus on Hoffman. Focus on Fagan. That's pretty much it. And just score goals. Alright, let's get into it. Let's see if we can get into a rhythm. If we can get 3 promotions in a row, that would be absolutely insane. Ziegler, he'll find Laird. He takes a massive touch. Can't find oh, Hoffman, but Laird gets called back for a foul. And uh, Swansea City picks up early. Oh, so sorry. All right, cool. Well, I'll be back. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, the game don't crash this time around. And the match he has Hoffman this running inside of the box. With him. He's going to look to find him. And Hoffman will get on the score sheet against the run to play. And we're up 1-0. 
Oh, can he find somebody? Who's that? Hoffman now on the ball. Hoffman on the ball. Hoffman has a pace. And Hoffman has a brace. It's 2 0 for Wakefield here. In for Pinto. Pinto will lay it off for Hoffman. Hoffman, who's looking to get a hat trick, he'll find Evans out wide. Evans, can he get across in the box? Possibly for Barnett. No. Moriano on the second ball. No. Fisher won't win that ball either. Hoffman now out wide in for Reynolds. Reynolds in behind. Reynolds allowed to just run through the whole defense. And Reynolds has a goal. It's 3 0 now. Which was a dominant first half for Swansea City. They fall apart here, and Reynolds gets on the score sheet. De Oliveira out wide now for Barnett. Well, not he quite can't he to find with Fisher the in the midfield, but Barnett will intercept it. Now in for Pinto. Pinto will lay it off well, for Hoffman, and Hoffman, he wants his hat trick still, and Hoffman will get his hat trick. 4 0 thumping against Swansea City, and we get back to back wins, albeit one of them. A forfeit win, but I'll take it nonetheless. Well, here it is again. And Steele jumps up to 78 as a left winger, which is absolutely insane. I'm borderline want to bring him in now. I kind of want to sell him. I can't lie, because I feel like I shouldn't have this crazy of a player. The game here against Wakefield, not against Wakefield, against Ipswich. They have five points, 114. It should be a win. It is a win. And it's Hoffman on the score sheet twice. <laughs> Five goals in his last two games. I will take that. Blackpool away or at home, actually. A 3-2 win, which could have been shaky. Yates missing a penalty in the 67th minute. But Laird, Ziegler, and Fisher on the score sheet there to get the win over Blackpool. Are going to get ahead and play this game here against Middlesbrough. Matthew Hoppe. The USA man, Cessignon Fry, is that the real Cessignon or is that the Cessignon's brother that's awful? I mean, they're both awful. Let's get into this game. We're playing with our creeper kits. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can make it five wins in a row now. Burnett's Petit blocks the first one. Hoppe gets the second one. And it's been coming, to be fair. And Hoppe gets on the score sheet. It's 1-0 for Middlesbrough. Laird lays it off for Mayano. In for Fagan. Keith Fagan! A beautiful shot and a beautiful goal. And it's 1 1. Look at the hit on this. Keith Fagan. I wanted a finesse. He kind of power shots it. Back in for Oliveira. Oliveira down the flank for Ziegler. Laird in the box. Hoffman now in the box this time for real. And Hoffman the double. And he'll take the lead here for Wakefield. It's 2-1. Hoppe. Nobody wants to close him down. And Tourette's is in behind. And it's 2-2. Might have a chance to break here with Keith Fagan if he can find him down the wing. There he is. And Fagan's in behind. Fagan. He's getting closed down pretty quickly, though. Fagan gets a shot off corner. Possibly no. He finds the back. And then it's 3-2. And we retake the lead here against Middlesbrough. Acuna intercepts Blanco. Again. He'll find Barnett. Barnett out wide for Reynolds. In for Hoffman. Hoffman out wide for Reynolds again. Hoffman can't find the back of the net. That was Reynolds actually. But it's a 3-2 win here against Middlesbrough. And we move on to really second place Preston to try and take them down now. Scouting reports, and it's the three-month wrap-up here for two nations. Ivory Coast, they are going to send out on an absolute stinker. The other one being Ukraine. They didn't give me anyone quite at all. It was an awful experience for them. England, we are looking not really that good, but England obviously staying seven months. This guy, 70 overall, but his value is half, less than half a million, so he is just not good enough. Humphrey, not good enough. And we will send these scouts out to two different more nations. And it's a four-way tie all the way up from first to fourth. All on 23 points. And really a three-way tie based off of goal difference and really games played. We've just scored more goals. Bournemouth scored second more. And then Preston least more. We are sitting tec second technically in the league right now. We could go top of the table if we win this game. Or we could put a three-point gap between us and Preston. Let's get into it. It's a home game as well. We're going to have to, in fact, before we actually get there, I mean, it is a home game. But before we get there, I kind of want to check out Fagan, eight goals. Hoffman stepped up big, nine goal contributions this episode alone. 
Moyano in for Ziegler. Out wide early for Jack Laird. Now he has a reason to be a little bit skeptical. He had to put up some big performances again. Oliveira oh, yeah, yeah. in for Fisher. He'll find Fisher. Moyano. Moyano from distance. He had the net the open. The and Woodman shoves the shot wide out for a corner. Danger of out wide. Now. In for Hoffman. He's in behind. Only oh, Diaby to beat. And maybe the other defender making a run. And only to keep it a beat. And he and keeps him now. And it's 1 0 for Wakefield. We break the deadlock. Corner so comes in. Reynolds right has to win that header. He does. Steel just boots still it up the field. No. Fagan heads it up the field. Referee blows his referee whistle. Blows and it's a 1 0 win here against team. Preston. No from the fans here. And I think okay. our win streak extends really to game. 5, maybe 6 now. The and, and that's going to go ahead and be the end of the episode. We end it there in second. Tied on points with Fulham. Tied on points with Bournemouth. Three points ahead of Preston. Five points safe off of playoff. We are somehow in a tighter race again. I don't, I mean, what we've won six games in a row. Yeah, we've won six games in a row. Absolutely insane. Six games in a row. When we come back, I believe we actually have Fulham coming up next month. Or do we already play Fulham? Do we play Fulham? Yeah, we play Fulham when we beat them 4-3. That's right. We have Millwall, we have Luton, Bristol, Hull, Sheffield United, Bournemouth in December. We'll probably end up getting there as well. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. And I will see you all for the next episode. Peace out.